got a lot done during the May meetings of the Harris County Commissioner's Court. Uh, we launched the Viper Task Force. It is a multifaceted law enforcement partnership uh, across multiple agencies to go after folks with outstanding warrants, uh, violent uh, criminals who are out free and need to be arrested. And that is one of many, many strategies we've implemented to tackle the current crime wave record investment of $1.4 billion in Harris County with an increase in funding for every law enforcement agency and um, evidence-based ideas like gun violence interruption, mental health services, and all kinds of other initiatives. We also moved toward a greener Harris County. We made a major investment in electric vehicles for our fleet. Obviously, we engage in um, flood control projects, um, pollution control initiatives. So many of our departments need vehicles. And so we're working on greening that fleet and, and it was a big investment to begin purchasing those vehicles. We invested tens of millions of dollars into active transportation. Our toll road is gonna to be working on building uh, alongside our commissioners, alongside our county engineer's office, more trails, more bike lanes, opportunities to make our community more walkable, more attractive, more competitive, and healthier through active transportation options. And it's like what we see here, these beautiful trails were at uh, Braze Bayou, and it makes our community that much more beautiful, that much more competitive, and that much more welcoming to, to everybody who lives here and folks that we want to come and move here. We worked also on tackling the issue of catalytic converter thefts. It is a big problem nationally because the, the metals in catalytic converters are being sold at very high value and so thieves are stealing those um, and, and it's a very, very dangerous situation. Uh, we recently had um, a member of our law enforcement who was, who was killed um, trying to prevent a catalytic converter theft. And so last year we had already passed regulations to require metal recyclers to verify that whoever is selling them a catalytic converter um, can explain how they got it and, and to fingerprint the seller and to keep track of all of that. Uh, well, this past commissioner's court, we approved additional penalties for anybody who presents a, a cut a catalytic converter, that is a catalytic converter that has obviously been stolen as opposed to being removed as part of a maintenance and uh, reputable uh, operation. With the leak of the draft Supreme Court opinion that threatens to uh, eliminate Roe v. Wade, which has been established law since the 70s, we in Harris County took a stand in Texas, there's a trigger law that if Roe v. Wade is overturned, abortion will be pretty much eliminated in our state, even in cases of rape and incest. It is an extreme position. And so we, as the Harris County Commissioner's Court, as the largest county in the state, took a stand in support of the long established law that is Roe v. Wade. We also unveiled data from our Institute of Forensic Sciences, they're a medical examiner, that shows that the percentage of homicides related to guns, to gun crime, has gone up dramatically. In 2018, it was around 70% of homicides that were due to a gun, where a gun was involved. Uh, this past year, 2021, we're at 85%. So far in 2022, 87% of homicides involve a gun. And so uh, we knew that the NRA is having their annual convention right here in Harris County. And so uh, in unveiling that data and with the latest uh, news, we were calling on common sense gun safety policies and passed a resolution uh, for June to be Gun Violence Awareness Month in Harris County. Of course, just a few hours after we did that, uh, we learned about the massacre in Uvalde. We have only redoubled our commitment uh, to calling for common sense gun safety policies that the vast majority of Texans and Americans agree on.
As always, we worked on anti-crime investments, we worked on our flood control policies. Uh, we're here at Braze Bayou, where we just celebrated the completion of Project Braze. It is the largest flood control project Harris County Flood Control District has ever undertaken, a $480 million project, and it's going to lift 15,000 homes, structures out of the floodplain. It's gonna help improve uh, the conditions for over 700,000 people. So that work continues and we're so proud of everything we got done.